everyone. Welcome back to Shay's Chronicles again for a top five video I'm bringing you today. Um, just my top five favorite Pokemon. No specific, you know, reasons why. I just really like them and countering them in the games, using them in the games. Um, just all opinions right now. No, like, arguments or anything. And uh, hope you enjoy. Maybe you have the same ones in common. Here we go. Number five, I have Zangoose. He's really, he comes across as a strong Pokemon to me, and he just, he's designed so well. Every time I encounter him in the game, I always would try to choose him over a Sea Viper. Sea Viper really is kind of basic to me. Um, Zangoose comes across as like a really tough Pokemon, and you really, you know, just look at the claws he has. I mean, the color he has. He's very intimidating. It looks like he has a battle scar. I mean, he just comes across as this war-torn Pokemon that you really wouldn't see, you know, even like in the shows, it's really, they're all very happy. He seems like he's always angry. Number four, I have Pyroar. Pyroar I picked because I needed someone from the newer generations in here. A lot of minor picks are from older generations, but he just comes across as like that badass fire type, which I'm really into fire types. Um, he, you know, I'm into like the, I guess you call it the dog uh, generation of Pokemon. His, uh, every time I use him in the game, he was really cool to use. Like, you run into him with Lysander. You know, he just really comes across as powerful and just really cool and overall. Number three, I have chose Houndoom. Like I said, the fire type with the dog concept. He's just a badass to me. Like, every time I encountered him, he reminded me of like a childhood dog I used to have. Um, color and everything. Not the horns, though. Trust me. Just not the horns and the fire breathing that'd be weird um he i chose him because he just shows a lot of character the only problem i didn't like him out in the games was he's always weak like his health was always really low but his like speed and his like move sets always made up for it so i always kept him in the party and uh let's move on to number two vaporeon i had to throw an eon in here because it'd be typical if i didn't uh, he was the first one I ever used in Pokemon Red. I immediately turned him into Vaporeon because I was using Charizard for my first time. So I had the type coverage, and I just really liked how Vaporeon looked. He had like the sea creature look to it. He also had a really high health standard. Every time I used him, his health got really high, so it was perfect for like the Elite Four. He was good for uh, like using Surf and stuff like that. Like he just overall was my favorite Eon too. So let's move to number one. Arcanine, he's just flat out my favorite move sets, everything. He was just so amazing in the game to me. Um, he reminds me of just like my dog, my favorite dog I used to have, who passed away. But he comes across to me as this like loyal creature all the time. He never like betrayed anything or never, you know, made like a, a villainous character out to in like the shows. He just came across to me as, like, really powerful, loyal. So I always had him in my party unless, like, I had started with the fire type. So I started with, like, a Venusaur. I'd always have an Arcanine for fire type coverage and no one else. Like, I would just pick him. Um, a lot of people disagree with my number one because, like, oh, he should have been a legendary or, oh, he was this, that, or the other thing. I picked him just for the loyalty concept. He's just an amazing Pokemon, and uh, I like how, he, you know, I liked him in the games. Um, thanks for watching.